College football season kicking off tonight with a slew of games on the board. Hi everyone, Al DeMarco here and this is going to be your Thursday video report. In just a moment, I'm going to break down one of those games, Washington State at BYU for one of your free plays and also a free selection as well back in baseball with a play on the contest between the Dodgers and Diamondbacks coming up as well. Plus, today's promotion. For the third straight week, we're going to turn to Matt Rivers for the $5 Play of the Week promotion. He's won the last two. Hell, he won the Charity Play of the Week, you recall, this past Saturday as well. And it's another one of those monster 400,000 star plays of which, well... He's going for winner number 6 out of 7 and 17 out of 23 overall. But our focus today begins with college football. And guys, let's talk about Scott Delaney. Kicking off the season with a bang, a play that he has won 9 of the last 11 years. His college football opening game of the year play and... It happens to be an 80-dime release. The significance there, it's 80-dime winner number 7 out of 9 on Washington State and BYU. Again, he's won this play 9 of the past 11 seasons, and it's his 80-dime college football winner number 7 out of 9. The guy's made you a slew of money in baseball the past couple of years. Now he's looking to kick off the college season in fine fashion. Of course, it being Thursday, we cannot do a Thursday video report without talking about Trace Adams, the self-proclaimed king of Thursday night football. And, well, bottom line is the numbers support his claims. The past four years, guys, college football on Thursday nights, and I want to get you the exact number here, okay? His overall record on college football on Thursday nights, if my damn computer would quickly come up here and give me what I'm looking for. It never fails when you're doing these reports live, guys. Uh, his overall record in college football the past four years on Thursday nights is 62, 34, and 2. Now, remember that number, but I've got another number that's even more significant coming up. Normally, a 1,000-star play is his top-rated release. So, for example, Monday night, he had a 1,000-star winner, the Cardinals, 4-3, in their series opener at Pittsburgh against the Pirates. Tonight, however, is another 1,500-star lead pipe lock. And with these plays, Thursday nights in college football, the past four years, 42-21. and 21. 42 and 21. This play tonight, 1500 star lead pipe lock going tonight on Vanderbilt, South Carolina. First game of the TV card tonight. Uh, just as strong as his 1500 star winner last night, the Oakland A's on the run line is a dollar fifteen dog. Just as strong as his 1500 star winner on uh, what would it be Tuesday night with the Oakland A's as well, going for winning day number seven out of eight overall. And again. The guy has absolutely owned Thursday nights. And why am I placing an emphasis on this, guys? Because, listen, if you win on Thursday nights, you're then in the position of playing with your man's money come the weekend. That's why I always try to focus on particular handicappers and have the big plays and have exceptional long-term production on Thursday nights. You win tonight, you're playing with somebody else's money come the weekend. And that's a theme that will repeat throughout uh, this season. Now... I also want to tell you that a number of handicappers uh, now have Super Bowl uh, savings packages up available on their sites, including me. Uh, let's see, I think it's Chris Jordan, um, Matt Rivers, uh, I think Craig Davis. Um, all have money saving discount, uh, money saving. Co uh, Jesus, I'm so ca caught up on coupons. I say it so many times in these video reports. Super Bowl savings packages. So let's take a look, for example, for Craig Davis, who, you know, he's former president of fantasyfootball.com. This is a guy that knows football inside and out uh, in the NFL. Uh, dating back to the last season, $10 players have only won $6,740. And he's won four straight Super Bowl best bets. Not quite as good as Chris Jordan has won six out of seven. But to give you an example, uh, Craig Davis... As of today, there are, including today, there are 158 days until the Super Bowl come February 3rd, 2013. So, for example, you can get a Super Saver special, which for $1,399 gets you all of his plays from today through the Super Bowl. We're talking almost 160 days of action. Two-part payment plan available on the package. If you happen to be a current package player, remember there's a $150 instant rebate that can be applied as well. If you happen to already be 
in a long-term package with anybody that has a Super Saver Super Bowl package, like myself or Craig or Chris Jordan, etc. You can always buy the package, then contact customer service, and they will simply extend the extra days past. So let's say you have 14 days left of your current package. You want the Super Bowl special? Well, your new package will then expire 14 days after the Super Bowl. That's how it works. It's very easy. Take advantage of the savings. I mean, it really gives you the place for the handicappers. Your choice for pennies a day. Uh, today, I think Anthony Red is going to be adding one of those, uh, maybe Scott Delaney as well. Um, so I'll keep you posted as the videos progress. As for me, I'm officially back from vacation, guys, even though I've been doing the video report every single day, even when I was on vacation in Europe. Um, listen, you know, college football kicks off tonight. I got to be honest with you. None of the games are particularly appealing to me. There's not one game on the board that's screaming, bet me, bet me, bet me. Now, that's not the case with Scott Delaney, not the case with Trace Adams. But for me, how many times have I told you, a win is a win, a loss is a loss. It doesn't matter what sport. It's not like you go up to the cashier and they say, oh, I'm sorry, Al, we can't pay you as much because you won in baseball instead of college football tonight. I don't like to force plays. Well, hell, I don't like it. I don't force plays. That's the bottom line. And uh, coming into today, well, you know, uh, I'm looking for winning day number 17 out of 22 and seven in a row, and I'm turning the baseball with my eighth consecutive run line winner. That's what I have going tonight because I looked at tonight's cards, and I'll talk about the BYU-Washington State game in just a moment, but there was just not one game that really was that appealing. Even tomorrow night's card, I'm not sure if I'm going to pull the trigger there. Now, Saturday... Listen, guys, I've looked at the Saturday card up and down. I looked at it uh, probably three, four days ago, and I pretty much, you know, isolated a handful of games. There's like five or six games on Saturday's card that I really, really like. Um, and, and one of them is going to be a 15-dime play, and you know those are my bread-and-butter plays, and you know how successful they have been. Um, I'm just waiting to see as we get closer to... Um, game time to see where the public money is pushing some of these lines. I don't want to get caught short in a line move, and I want to see, you know, the weather reports as well. It's always a tough time to forecast here in September, departing on the part of uh, the country that you happen to be in. So, again, I'm more than willing to keep winning money in baseball than uh, worry about uh, the opening night of college football. Now, your $5.00 play of the week promotion is going to be, as I said, Matt Rivers. Uh, he is going for winning day number eight out of nine. It's his second biggest play of his career. 400,000 star winner number six out of seven and 17 out of 23. Um, just as strong as his 400,000 star winner on the Pirates in a shutout of St. Louis last night. It's a run line play. It goes on the nighttime card. If you purchased it from Matt directly, it would cost you $65. You can get it for $5 by using this promo, this coupon code, Promo 60, Promo 60, P-R-O-M-O -O and the number 60, P-R-O-M-O -O 60. No space between the word promo and the number 60. For those of you that are newcomers to the site, coming back for college football, this is a program I started about three or four months ago, and I think it's a great way for guys here on the site, most of whom are wrapped into long-term packages with one or more handicappers. About 80% of the customers here at the site make a long-term commitment because of the huge money-saving possibilities. But this gives them and newcomers to the site an opportunity to sample a handicapper who perhaps are not involved in a package with, who they haven't bought in the past, who happens to be red hot and has a great play for a ridiculous price of $5. If you happen to be a new customer to the site, listen, it takes you about 60 seconds to open up a brand new account. Uh, when you go, you go to Matt Rivers' page, you hit the Buy Now button next to his 400,000 star play. It puts it in the shopping cart. You'll see a price of $65. You'll see a little box where you enter the coupon code. You put in PROMO60, PROMO60, P-R-O-M-O-6-0. -O that will then show you a net total cost of $5. And that's how it goes. Matt Rivers has won this play each of the past two weeks. And he was the charity play of the week winner as well this past Saturday. So um, thank you again for Matt making uh, the play available for me to pitch to you this evening. Okay, guys, let's get busy here and talk a little uh, college football here this evening. Uh, the game that uh, I'm going to focus on is not South Carolina Vanderbilt because the next time I win a game involving Steve Spurrier will probably be the first time in years. You know what I mean? I instead want to take a look at this uh, BYU-Washington State game. Of course, the big hullabaloo at Washington State is the return of Mike Leach to the college football ranks after uh, being unceremoniously fired by Texas Tech a couple of years ago. Uh, thank God he's back in college football because if I had to listen to him on satellite radio anymore, let's just say he didn't put a lot into his commentary on those shows, okay? 
Ugh. But anyway, uh, he is back with Washington State. And listen, Washington State, you know what's going to happen there. He's bringing his air raid offensive attack, and that's the way the Cougars are going to roll in this battle of Cougars in Provo here this evening. Um, problem is, Washington State is a 9-40 and team the past four seasons. Now, Washington State has some offensive weapons. They've got a veteran quarterback coming back. They've got an outstanding wide receiver as well. Uh, and Marquise Wilson, who had 82 catches last year before Leach arrived. Just imagine what he's going to do this year. Year, okay, so you know they're going to put points on the board. And they're a big 12 and a half point dog here tonight at BYU. But on the other hand, you've got a BYU team that is a veteran team that once Riley Nelson took over controls at quarterback again last year, final seven games of the season, they went six and one straight up and covered all seven of those games. Nelson uh, ran for 392 yards. He passed for over 1,700 yards and 19 touchdowns. This is a veteran BYU team. Seven starters back both on offense and on defense. So each side of the line of scrimmage, they're a veteran team. Now, granted, they have two new starters back in the secondary, okay? But this was still a defense that last year in the nation was ranked number 13 overall in yards allowed. Um, now, let's talk about the Washington State defense. We can't talk about the Washington State defense. They don't play defense. That's one of the reasons they've lost 40 out of 49 games the past four years. There's not a lot of talent there in Pullman for Washington State defensively. So Washington State's going to put points on the board, but they're going to give up a bevy of points as well. And BYU playing in the higher altitude of Provo, I say they wear down Washington State tonight. And I think you can play this game two ways. I think one way to look at this game is to go ahead and play BYU straight up. The other way is to go ahead and play this game over the total. Because, again, Washington State's going to score some points. They're going to give up even more, and I think they're going to uh, see this game skyrocket over the posted price. So the official free play would be BYU, but I would also consider the over as well. And you know what, guys? I've changed my mind. I was originally going to give you um, the Dodgers uh, on – well, hell, I'll give you this, and I'll give you an NFL free pick too. How's that for you? Okay, I'm going to go with the Dodgers on the run line as a dollar five home dog tonight against the Diamondbacks. I know the Dodgers just managed to snap uh, their three-game slide with a 10-8 win at Coors Field against Colorado yesterday. They have lost six of their last eight games. But damn it, they've got to get going here. And you realize the Diamondbacks are the perfect opponent because they're in big-time revenge. Arizona came into L.A. just about a month ago and swept the three-game series at the end of July. Uh, they've lost six straight, the Dodgers have in this series, scoring just 11 runs total. But this Arizona team's playing with no confidence right now. They've lost six in a row, scoring just 13 runs in the process, and all six of those straight losses were at home. Ian Kennedy is not the guy that won 20-some games a year ago, okay? So I'll go with Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers on the run line here. The other play I want you to consider is a preseason pick tonight. Now, normally week number four, I just totally skip it. But you've got the Jets playing the Philadelphia Eagles tonight, and you've got the Eagles laying like four, four and a half points in this contest. The Jets have been... I mean, just dreadful offensively here in the preseason first three games. Uh, Mark Sanchez and Tim Tebow unable to direct that offense into the end zone. Now, whether it's because of inefficiency or because Tony Sperano, the new offensive coordinator, simply wants to be very vanilla during the preseason and then spring his newfangled offense during the regular season, who knows? But we do know this tonight. Neither Sanchez or Tebow are going to be playing for the Jets this evening, which means Greg McElroy, who used to star at Texas A&M, is going to get the start, and he's going to be followed by somebody called Matt Sims. Okay. Now, the Eagles have their own quarterback issues. Uh, Mike Kafka, who was expected to be the number two quarterback coming into training camp, broke his hand in the first preseason game, hasn't played since. That's opened the way for fourth-round draft pick out of Arizona, Nick Foles, to shine in this preseason. Now, of course, Philadelphia, Michael Vick, injured once more. The starters for Philly and most of the second stringers aren't going to be playing tonight for the Eagles. Nick Foles is going to get the start. But the guy who has benefited most from Mike Kafka breaking his hand is Trent Edwards, the journey who bounced out with Buffalo. You remember the former Stanford star? He has played exceptionally well, completing over 65% of his passes in a lot of preseason action this year, backing up Foles. Well, Nick Foles is going to start the first quarter tonight, and then Trent Edwards is going to play the final three quarters. You've got an Eagles team playing at home with the better quarterback tandem that has seen extensive action in the preseason, laying the four, four and a half points at home. That's why I like the Eagles here tonight as your preseason pick. So, Eagles, Dodgers on the run line, uh, BYU in college football, and maybe, you know, you want to consider BYU going over. I can't give you more free plays than that, guys. Good luck to y'all, and I'll catch you again on Friday when we do it all over again.